Thank you for visiting the CoinSuries channel again. In his role as Principal Counsel for Ripple, Stuart Eldorado is clarifying some extremely hazy transactions with the SEC. Before the SEC sued Ripple three years ago today, he asserts that Chris and Brad offered us the following settlement. Allow me to clarify. It had been suggested to Chris and Brad that they settle, and I knew about it. The real terms are completely unknown to us. Not only were Brad and Chris engaged, but he is now informing us that the corporation was as well, they might get out of this whole legal bind if they did this. The market would have a short window of opportunity to comply if XRP were to be declared a security by the SEC. We have heard it ad nauseum that the secondary market is irrelevant. Nothing matters about the coin. He is telling you that very thing. At the heart of this legal dispute from the start has been the classification of XRP, the digital asset, as a security. If you look at XRP, you can see what happens. Following its delisting from US markets, which limited trading to international markets exclusively, it performed very well. There would have been more of a splash if the larger cryptos community had recognized that this was a winning play and that the consequences for the cryptocurrency market might be enormous. The most important thing is that. To elaborate, Stewart says that we declined the offer because XRP is not a security. Everyone here said the same thing leading up to and during the case in court. The judge ultimately ruled that XRP is not a security, but the final decision is never certain. It still takes guts to take this case to court. The judge in the library case evaded the question of whether the library token was a security, in case you forgot. But there was a lack of clarity. Something about the judge reminds me of the Ripple case. He thought that Coinbase will always reap the rewards of Ripple's growth, and that if Ripple wanted to issue more tokens, they would have a clear strategy in place. Crypto assets do not meet the legal definition of a security when exchanged on the secondary market. He elaborates by saying that the rejection was due to the fact that XRP is not a security and that the SEC has never issued regulations regarding cryptocurrencies. They might have dropped hints that we'll figure it out eventually. Would you still be in purgatory after three years if you had given your assent for that? It was rejected by even Ripple. Because XRP is now freely traded on the US market, we were able to capitalize on this huge change. Remember what they said, this is vital. Ripple and the funding are the only things involved, I see. The steward claims this has nothing to do with XRP. The main objective has always been to prove that XRP is not a security in and of itself, irrespective of how Gensler and Clayton Hinman or anyone else frames the matter. That caused a wave to form. Most importantly, the SEC is eager to have XRP declassified as a security since it does not have any special characteristics. That would be ineffective for Cardano. They would have an impact on all of them if they could take over the XRP trade and utilize it to control ADA and every other altcoin. We now have a game that piques the attention of the SEC, one in which they maintain total dominion over the region. Gary Guzler has suffered a crushing defeat, his entire scheme has gone haywire. In that case, what am I to conclude? After suffering a setback in the crypto field, he has two options, either waste the rest of his tenure doing nothing, or tackle the issue head on. Share your thoughts and opinions with me by posting a comment below. I beg you once more, please like and subscribe. Goodbye for now.